and welcome to DFS Coach Talk. Today is Monday, October 11th. I am Joe Sarvati, affectionately known as Coach, and I am joined by the one and only Josh Crash Davis. And I got to ask you a few things starting off. I know this is our MLB podcast for the day, and we've got a nice full group of games. It's going to be a fun, fun day. But a couple of things. I know you're a Packers fan, so I got to yeah. open any DFS show with that. Was that one of the craziest things you've ever seen in your life? Yeah, that was definitely one of the one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Um, you know, it's funny. They were asking Aaron Rodgers in the post game about that game. And he said the only game he could think of that was crazier was the last time they were in Cincinnati with with Brett Favre and that crazy uh, streaker guy came and ran and, and took the ball away from him. <laughs> so, other than that, I think he was saying it was pretty much one of the craziest games he's ever been a part of. So, yeah, no, no doubt. I know I was checking on you. I wanted to make sure you didn't stroke out during some of that game. But you had yeah. a funny so you heard somebody state something about uh the probabilities tell tell our listeners that because that made, that cracked me up. Yeah, yeah. So they were they were showing on I think it was on Twitter a uh, win probability meter and it was just you know up and down up and down and the guy in the comments was saying that was my EKG chart watching that game. So <laughs> yeah, oh, it was fun, man. It really it was, was. A crazy game and the games in Cincinnati for us have been like that. That was the first time that we've won with Aaron Rodgers in Cincinnati. So it's always something wild and crazy happening. That is nuts. But, uh, hey, you know, I had to open with that because it was just such a, a ride yeah. to watch it. But what a weekend, man. It was, you know, join us. We'd love to have you here at DFS Coach Talk. Just go to DFSCoachTalk.com and jump in. It was such a fun weekend. I could not watch enough stuff at the same time. We had a great golf day. We were preparing for our NBA stuff and getting some of that in. You know, 9 million football games. Yeah. And then the baseball playoffs, how exciting were those games? Oh, I know. I know. And last night it was crazy because we had that that crazy rain delay or whatever in the Chiefs and the Bills game. So I was able to watch, you know, a little bit more of the White Sox and Astros because of that. So and that was a wild game. I think it was like six to six in the fourth inning. And then yeah. the White Sox just took over. So it was something. I'll tell you, it was I was drained by the end of the day. I felt like I played. Yeah. <laughs> That was but, a long, it was a long day because they started at 8.30 yesterday with that international game. So, Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, it was fun, though. And the fun part about it for us here at Coach Talk is we won. We yeah. had some great lineups. Uh, you and Joe and Andrew put out some fantastic lineups, about 12 points away from, like, the optimal lineup. It was outstanding. Mm -hmm. And then our our golf just cleared it across the board. We cashed in the full tournament and uh, the weekend only. So that was a, a blast. But anyway, we're here to talk baseball. I just had to make those mentions because yesterday was really fun. There's no it doubt about it. <laughs> but we are uh, we are also eight days away from the start of the NBA season. So I can barely mm -hmm. sit in my seat. I am so fired up, man. Oh, yeah. We're going to kill it. We're already doing well in preseason, which is always very tough. You have to watch those lineups to the last second. But I've been doing constant NBA uh, scouting. I am so ready for this season. It's not even funny. But we're here to talk about baseball. I keep uh, getting uh, sidetracked. I'm excited for this day. I mean, we've got a full slate of games, and it's just, I mean, you can't ask for better than this. It's shutout mm -hmm. games, closeout games. But let me let me give you the lay of the land on the four games real quickly, and then we'll go into our top pitcher and our top two hitters. So we start the day out at 107 with the Brewers at Braves. I know you have maybe a little interest there. Yeah, a bit. That series is tied 1-1, and it's Peralta versus Anderson. Then at uh, 337, sevens are wild, by the way, in the MLB playoffs. Uh, 337, it's the Astros White Sox with the White Sox up 2 1 in a closeout. Uh, Urquidy versus Radone. I and thought then Houston was up 2 to 1. Oh, I'm sorry. Houston leads 2 yeah. to 1. My, yeah. my bad. You're right. Houston leads 2 to 1. And then we've got uh, Boston and uh, Tampa at Boston. Boston leads 2 to 1. That's a mm -hmm. 7 07 game. And that is Rodriguez versus, we're not sure yet, 
on Tampa. Have you seen any other confirmation on that picture? I have not. I was looking at that too, obviously, and I haven't seen anything. Yeah, they haven't put odds out for that game or anything. There's a few people guessing, but I I don't believe that decision's been made. Yeah. Who started game one? Uh let's see. Game two was that rookie Roz guy, right? Raz Roz. Um, Boz, I think. Is it Boz? Boz, Boz, Boz. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Get to know that kid. He's gonna be a he's gonna be a big yeah. one, Boz. Um was it uh, Morton? No, he's with the Braves. Oh, um, that's right. I, I uh, still have let's see. Let's see. Yeah, I can't remember who it was. I know. That's a great question. Oh, um, was, it, was it McClanahan, maybe? Yeah, he did not do well, though. <laughs> yeah. He did not do well. He only lasted like two. Or was that, was that the second game? I don't know. The bottom line yeah. is yeah, they don't know what they're doing, just like we don't know what we're <laughs> doing with this Tampa thing. So we need to wait and see that because Rodriguez, who's, who's pitching pretty – well for the uh, Red Sox is pitching. So that's an important game, uh, you know, and Boston can close them out. So, mm-hmm. you know, they're going to probably do their really, you know, committee. Everybody gets innings for Tampa, but uh, yeah. we'll see how that rolls. And then the final game of the night, it's uh, the Giants-Dodgers at 937. Uh, Alex Wood against Max Scherzer, and that's tied 1-1. So right. it's not like anybody's getting swept in anything here. These are all competitive series. They're all going to be fun to watch. And uh, I know I am fired up, uh, definitely. All right, let's dive in. We want to keep this short enough that everybody has a chance to listen before these games kick off. Because if you're playing the full four-game package there today, with uh, which is the Bane Slate for DraftKings and FanDuel and Yahoo, then that's somewhere you want to go. All right, I am gonna I'm gonna throw my guy out there first. We'll switch up the order. So then if okay. if I pick your guy, then you can scramble. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm you know, I didn't I'm not gonna overthink this. This is one of those days, you know, we've come up with and I'm really excited that you and I have been doing these daily uh playoff mm-hmm. uh, podcasts because we've come up with some really good guys, some contrarian guys, low owned guys, and we faded the right guys. So it's yeah. it's been a wonderful baseball run here. But this is one of those days where it's like, okay, don't overthink this. Just go with what you got to go with. And then the key is going to be filling in with the guys that can make that bit of a difference because you're mm-hmm. going to have massive chalk and deservedly so. So I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm going right to Max Scherzer. Yeah. Max Scherzer's the man. 15 and 4, 2.46 ERA, 0.86 whip and 236 strikeouts but none of that really means anything it's max freaking scherzer man and you know if i had to pick one guy in baseball to win one game for me i'd take him because nobody's gonna to go at it harder than he is this is such an important game for them i think that you know it's just impossible to fade him in my opinion i think you just start with him if you're gonna fade scherzer completely on this slate good luck catching up because I think he is just uh, fantastic. And I, it's no sense in going, I could read 25 stats, but it's Max mm-hmm. Scherzer. Yeah. It's the playoffs, and he's the man. So why cut to the chase? Just plug him in and then concentrate on the rest of your lineup. That's my opinion for the pitcher. Yeah, and and with him pitching at night, we're going to know kind of the lay of the land, you know, by the time he starts pitching where we stand. So. Hopefully we'll be in a good spot where we feel confident because I have Max Scherzer also. <laughs> I, I knew um, I wanted to beat you to the punch today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and it's a lot of the same reasons that you said, you know, he's back home. It's the playoffs. Um, you know, like, like you said, it's kind of one of those things. Who else would you want in this situation than Max Scherzer? So um, other than Brandon Crawford and to a lesser degree, Tommy Lastello, the rest of these giants have really struggled against him. So right. I'm pretty confident in this matchup. He's 9,900 on FanDuel, 9,600 on DraftKings. And what is he on Yahoo? That I will look up for you. I did not mark it down. I know I knew he was super expensive, and I didn't want to yeah. sweat it. Uh, I mean, really, with Scherzer, the reason I didn't even read his prices off, because it almost doesn't matter. I mean, mm-hmm. you can make things work, and he's just such – the best play that it's not even funny, but uh, 
I'm, I'm checking Max right now. Maxi Scherzer. I think I know he's going to be expensive, but I don't care. Oh, I clicked on a football one. Hold on. Give me anything more on Scherzer while I'm looking this up. Um, I don't know. Any if reason I'm not to take him? Well, he has struggled a little bit towards the end of the year, and that would be the only reason. And the, well, the other thing is, I think in the um, the wild card game, they um, they pulled him after like only four innings, and I'm not really sure why. That was yeah, pretty. He wasn't weird. pitching bad. No, you know? he only allowed like one run. I think Tommy Edmond got a single, you know, RBI single. So it didn't really make a lot of sense. No, it didn't. And, you know, that's even more of a reason why I like him. Because, I, you know him. He was probably yeah. pissed. I think he'd only yeah, given he only given up one come out. Yeah, he did so, not want to come out. No. And and he's fresher. And that's, you know, he's not the youngest player in the league anymore. Right. Like, you know. By the way, Max is only, he's, he's oh, I say only, but it's fair. He's 51 on Yahoo. But I've seen guys all the way up to 60 when they're yeah. really dominant pitchers. So, that doesn't scare me. No. No, I think that's a good price. So I'll go right into my top hitter. Um, yes. For this slate, I've got Brandon Lau, 3,600 on FanDuel, 4,500 on DraftKings. He's 286 against Rodriguez with three home runs and 14 at-bats. It's a lefty-lefty matchup, so I think he's probably going to go lower on than he probably should given his success against Rodriguez. But yeah. a lot of times people will kind of overlook these lefty lefty matchups, and and he's definitely had a good um, eye for you know the the pitches of Rodriguez. So I, I like Brandon Lau quite a bit today. Yeah, he's he's had a hell of a year. People, you talk about a guy flying out under the radar. What a yeah. season that that guy has had. Um, all right, for me, <clears throat> it's going to be an interesting theme here. This is another thing I haven't done yet in the MLB playoffs. I'm going full Dodgers today, um, mm. Crash. I'm going my top two right-handed sticks in this Dodgers lineup, in my opinion, at this moment in this matchup, and then Scherzer. So I'm going to have to run out today and get a Dodgers hat. I bet I can, go ahead. I bet I can guess one of them. Go ahead. I bet one of them is A.J. Pollock. No. I no. do like AJ Pollock today, though. Okay. I do okay. like him. No, yeah. I'm going to go. I'll, I'll just announce them both at the same time because it's sort of funny. Uh, oh, by the way, I got to mention one thing before I mention this. Did you watch the Houston game where Garcia was pitching to Garcia and then the reliever <laughs> that came in was Garcia? Yeah. Lurie Garcia to Leary Garcia and then Yuli Garcia or whatever it was came in. Yeah. That I was, was like, what the? I, yeah. I thought I was seeing things there. I was because we had Garcia, unfortunately, and I saw yeah. a Garcia and I saw Garcia hitting, and I saw Garcia still on the mound. And I said, wait a minute, he got pulled, but it was a different uh, anyway. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Yeah. What are that the chances of that? But speaking of that, I'm going with the Turner twins, the Wonder Twins power up, Turner Turner, Justin Turner, Trey Turner, you know, and so. <clears throat> For me, this is a, a, a Dodgers slash Washington Nationals uh, team because you have Scherzer and Turner. True. Still the yeah. greatest trade ever for the Dodgers. How they got those two guys, just I'll, I'll never it, – it's like getting LeBron and Anthony yeah. Davis. I mean, you, you got to yeah. be kidding me. So, anyway, I'm going Turner, Turner, and I'll just – a couple of things I want to, uh, you know, mention on both of them. Yes, um, you know, uh, Trey's a little bit more expensive. Um than you know than most of the guys but it's fair enough and you can make it work there's guys batting sixth seventh eighth in these lineups with mm -hmm. all four uh games going eight teams you can make these guys fit so that this is what i like justin turner first of all has been very hot now he took a goose egg yesterday i get that but before that he was 23 3 21 and 12 righty lefty matchup against alex wood all mm -hmm. the other stats fit, and it yep. just it makes perfect sense. And the same thing with Trey Turner. He's Trey Turner, man. I Again, I mention this every time. I think I've taken him every game in the playoffs. But when you have a guy leading off, and you have a guy with speed, and you have a guy with tons of power, you know he's never going to get pinch hit for, pinch run for, nothing. Mm -hmm. He's just, you know, in the last three games, he's backed it up. 
He's had 20, 12, and 36 in the last three games. So why not stay with a man that, that's red hot? And I just, I love the matchup. Uh, you know, the I couldn't wait for a lefty batter or pitcher to, to face the Dodgers because I really wanted to go double turner here. So again, I'm not going to, this, this isn't uh, like these other shows we've done where we'll have, you know, a chalk guy and then maybe a mid-level guy or a really value guy. I'm just saying, listen, take Scherzer and the Turner boys, mm -hmm. and then let's figure out the rest of it. And we're going to work on the rest of that lineup uh, with our, all of our members in yeah. Discord. If you want to check that out, we give out, uh, 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 what am I trying to say, DraftKings yeah. Core. We, where you're going to get that main build there and then full lineups on FanDuel and Yahoo. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do those. We talk throughout the day. We post them well ahead of time for the uh, the first pitch. And then if there's any questions, we're in there with you. So DFSCoachTalk.com to sign up. You can check us out on Twitter at DFSCoachTalk. If you have any questions for me directly, I'm at Joe Sarvati, J-O-E-S-A-R-V-A-D-I. And Crash, you're at? J.P. Davis, 1982. Correct. All right. And we'll, I mean, this is the time to do it. And, and you know, no pulling any punches. I know people may say, hey, coach, you're giving out chalk. Well, you know what? I don't usually give out triple chalk. Mm -hmm. uh, and I do feel these three guys could be triple chalk tonight. But I don't think you can do without them. Yeah. And, and it's, I like it because it gives you a core. And it's not like this is a showdown slate. Like you have four different mm -hmm. games to choose yeah. from. It gives you that core that I feel that is going to give you that great base. And then you got to fill in with guys like you guessed, AJ Pollock, those kind of guys mm -hmm. that are going to get it done. So uh, no reason to belabor all the stats and push and shove. You've got the Turners that have been there, done that. They both have a championship. Scherzer, of course. And just let those guys do their deal, and let's focus on what else we have to fill in with. So I'll turn it over to you for your two hitters, Mr. Crash. It's interesting how you have the two Turners. I've got the two Brandons. I've got Brandon Lau and Brandon Crawford. Um, Crawford's 3,100 on FanDuel. He's 4,300 on DraftKings. As I mentioned earlier, he has had success against Max Scherzer. He's hitting 412 against him with seven hits and 17 at bats, including two home runs. He's been really good in this series so far with the Dodgers. He's got three hits and eight at bats, including a home run. And I think that's going to continue in this, you know, matchup where he's had an advantage in the past. So I'm 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 liking Brandon Crawford. I'm gonna have to try to find some value because I'm gonna probably stack the Dodgers like you are. So excellent. And hitter number two. Was Brandon Crawford? Oh, okay. We got Brandon the two Lowe. Brandons, right? Yeah, so we got yeah. double Brandon, Brandon Lowe, double Crawford. Turner. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. Uh, now, again, this is off the cuff, just way out there. But do you have anybody that just dove out at you when you were preparing, uh, just to to give out as a fade? Um. Yeah, I I don't think I'm going to play very many of the Brewers or the Braves today. I'm expecting another low low scoring matchup. I'm probably going to go with maybe one Brewer and one Brave and probably somebody on the lower scale, like maybe a Jock Peterson, Rowdy Telez, somewhere around that price point. So you don't think your Brew Crew is going to get the sticks out today, huh? No, I think it's going to be another low scoring game. I do. Okay. okay. Well, we'll definitely take that into consideration. And then my, mine goes with the, you know, I sound like dumb coach today, but it's Alex Wood. I, I don't see yeah. him lasting more than three, four innings at the very, very most. And I think the Dodgers will will tee off on him. So, yeah, it's going to be, like I say, it's going to be all Dodger blue for me tonight and and then filling in with some of the other guys. Because I'll tell you, th these other matchups are tough. Like you yeah. said, there's some good pitching matchups. There's nothing out, you know, else that just looks really obvious. I mean, there it's going to be one-offs all over the place for me with that little mini Dodger stack. And I think that's, that's really the way to go. Yeah. And if, if Boston ends up going up against a, uh, like a bullpen type game with Tampa, since we don't know who their pitcher is going to be, that's probably going to be somewhere I'm going to look to go to, but primarily it's going to be the Dodgers for me. 
Yeah, definitely. I'll tell you, that White Sox crowd was rocking last night. If you watched yeah. any of that, that, was, that was a wild crowd. It was fun to see. It really was. Yeah. It, it was fun. I love playoffs. And I'll tell you, just because we all had to live through all the COVID and no fans and all that insanity, man, I don't know if it's me or that made me appreciate it more, but these fans and the, the mm. you know packed stadiums, it is a blast to watch. Yeah. It really is. Yeah, we lost our, um, you know, just over the years, I think we took it for granted, you know, just how incredible it is, how the fans can change a game. So, Oh, and they definitely do, no doubt about yeah. it. So, yeah, it's a, it's a great uh, time to jump aboard here. Uh, if you have a chance, if you're watching us on YouTube, please hit that thumbs up, the subscribe button, put a little comment, a couple of words, whatever. That really helps us move up uh, the algorithm and, and get the word out to more people on YouTube. Also, click that little uh, bell alarm button at the top of the screen. That will give you uh, an indication of when all of our podcasts post. And we're doing basketball, baseball, golf, and football. Everything podcasts all over the place. We have a phenomenal team here of uh, podcast and DFS pros. And, uh, boy, we're red hot right now, and we'd love to have you join us. Um, also, if you're listening through any of our podcast sites, Podbean, Stitcher, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and uh, the new one, Amazon Music, all of those, uh, you, uh, if you're in there listening, take a second at the end, hit five stars, real quick comment, you get in a drawing for a free one-week membership at Coach Talk All Access. And that is drawn drawn at the end of each month. So you got a little time or about half, almost halfway through. Uh, definitely jump on there and do that. And then again, we'd love to have you. You know, great packages for NBA, which again is eight days away. Uh, and if you want to uh, check out that, we've got a half season and a full season of NBA available as well. So we really would enjoy having you join what the best DFS community in the industry, no doubt about it. All right, my man, any final words from your side? Yeah, I was just thinking how this is a four game slate. And so we've got, you know, games all throughout the day. Just make sure you keep an eye on discord for any lineup changes. And also for your lineups, when you're building your lineups, make sure you put your, your players that are playing in the later games in your utility and flex spots, because you don't want to be locked in with somebody that's not going to start. So that's a great, great thing. And, and that's one big thing. You know, I know everybody wants to play the main slate, but people are working. They're not available to catch everything. Let us do all that work for, for you. Once you're in discord, we do an add everyone when there's ever a change, like for example, in NBA last night, we didn't know LeBron was sitting until right. about 40 minutes before we make the, you know, we set it up though, that we knew we had a pivot and, you know, we'll do all that for you. So, you know, uh, that's a big plus of getting involved with, but if you're just a listener and you're doing your own crash has the, that's great advice. And that goes for all sports because yeah. you want to leave yourself <clears throat> the possibility of, of making that change and not, you know, having to lessen your chances to win. So, all right, my man, great job. Uh, this is an exciting stretch. Enjoy these games today, four MLB games. Uh, obviously, Monday night football is coming. We have a huge NBA schedule of seven games tonight, um, and then we're going to be preparing for another great golf tournament since yep. we're on a major role in golf. So, wow, I can't – you catch your breath, and here we go. I love yep. it. So, well, thank you, everybody, for listening in. We appreciate it. We hope you have a great Monday and start your week out right with some big wins at DFS Coach Talk. So we will be back to catch you again tomorrow as we look to crush it in DFS.